All right, we're all packed up. Get, getting ready to head out. Find a new spot, most likely in Washington. And really not that cold out here. Kind of like it. But Dad doesn't really like the rain all too much, but I don't mind it. Coming from 20, 30 below in Riverton, it's actually kind of nice. to the highway and it's kind of raining out here so um, I don't remember if I've said it already but we're moving to Washington see what it's like out there just airing it up surprisingly uh, with all the weight uh, we've done pretty good in the snow and it's probably a couple of feet in places so so far so good this guy has stopped we had to chain up on uh, those roads back there are not being plowed so he had to chain up to make sure that uh, doesn't sl slide off the road is that uh, air pump that we have installed a while back being really really helpful so we tucked it away right out there and the tank is on the top um, I don't remember I think it may be a two and a half gallon tank but if the air is up uh, what we were running about 15 on the tires so it takes probably uh, three four three four minutes per tire uh, from 15 to well let's see we're running 39 right now with all the weight usually I'm running 35 psi but Just crossed the border over into Washington. Continue on Head Washington 20 West for 46 miles. Oh, well, thank you. Heading to a, a mountain range and pass called Flowery Pass. Not sure what to expect for that. Well, it's day six. We're driving through the night to head over to Cascade National Forest. Thoughts of the road conditions. Well, it's beautiful. Uh, nice uh, snowstorm. Have to go slow, but uh, both of us are liking driving in these conditions. So, enjoying ourselves should be in uh, Cascade National Park by morning. We'll set up the camp and uh, camp there for a couple of days. Other than that, really nothing cheap, nothing else to report. Just enjoying ourselves. Well, first obstacle of the day. Tree fall, fell down on the road. And we don't feel like taking apart the containers to get the chainsaw, so we're going to tow it out of the way. Well, I'll attempt. I'm not sure if we'll be able to, though. Maybe with a little inertia, we'll be able to get it out, but we'll see.
Looks like it fell from over there. Seems like it's working. Use this tree up here as a pivot point. Just slide it right across. If it's not long enough to hit those trees. as I suspected, it's hitting that tree there. Should be fine though. Should be good there. Luckily we came along because it seems like there's a small car that was trapped. All right, day six. We're in this beautiful, beautiful place in Cascade Mountains. And uh, looking for a place to set up the tent. Up until now, the road was is plowed somewhat, but now we lowered the tire pressure and about to go in the deep snow. So we'll see how this uh, loaded pig is going to do. Might be challenging. I guess we will find out shortly. Beautiful morning, just a little bit of a snowfall, but looks like the skies are clearing up. So we might see some sh sunshine today. The whole night we were driving in a pretty, pretty uh, in places it was white out. But we are glad to be here. One of the drawbacks of LED tail lights, they don't produce any heat, and so the lights get in the in a snowstorm they all got get covered up and periodically need to be cleared out especially at night
you have lockers in engaged. Oh, that's right. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> Silly. It's going. But I think I'm gonna lower the tire pressure furthermore. Okay. Uh, we are at 15 here. Eight in the rear. Or front. So I'm gonna go five and 10. See what that is gonna do. Go where I'm up. All right, we've lowered the front to five PSI and the rear to 10. There's already a difference. about half an hour uh, half half a mile and we are stuck so snow tracks will will have to be employed well he had to go ahead and get himself stuck so we hooked up the winch and let see if we can get ourselves out.
Hang on. with all the private property that there is around here we weren't able to find a camping spot so we're airing back up and gonna move on see if we can find a spot if not we'll probably drive through the night again and head to Seattle to see what we can do about opening up our visas and catch you sometime on the road